Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Interviews YouTube channel. Today we are diving into something new that every programmer needs to know before solving problems. Brute force versus optimal solutions in DS. Should you go with brute force and try everything, or should you optimize and solve problems in a smarter way, not harder way? Let's break it down with real world examples and try to understand why this matters in coding interviews. What is brute force? Imagine you are at a locked door and having a bunch of keys. You don't know which one fits. So you try every single one until the door finally opens. Now that's known as brute force, trying all possible solutions until one works. Here are a few examples for brute force in coding. Let's say you are trying to find duplicates in an array. Now what could be the brute force way? We can do this by comparing every element with every other element in the array. One more example is, let's say you want to search for an element in a sorted array. Now what can be the brute force way? We can linearly move over the array and find the element that we are looking for. You can find the python code for this example on the screen. What is an optimal solution? Let's understand it with the same example that we took previously. Instead of trying every single key, we analyze their shapes or recall which key worked on a similar lock. This way, we quickly find the right key with fewer attempts. Examples of optimal solutions in DSE. For finding duplicates, instead of checking each and every element, we can use hashing libraries and find it quickly. Instead of searching linearly in a sorted array, we can use binary search and reduce the search space each time. You can refer to this python code popping up on the screen. If brute force is slow, why do we even use it? Because brute force is often the first step. It helps us get a working solution before we optimize. When is brute force useful? When you are learning a new problem and need a quick solution. When the data set is small, brute force might be good enough. When an optimal approach is complex, brute force is easier to implement first. For example, in password hacking, a brute force attack tries every combination. But in optimal way, you can identify common patterns and guess the password faster. Now that's a good difference between brute force and optimal. At the end of the day, brute force is like throwing everything at a problem. But an optimal approach is like choosing the best strategy. Moral of the story, brute force helps you get started. Optimal solutions help you scale. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.